Henry Bessemer, inventor of the Bessemer process. Henry Bessemer was born on January 19, 1813 in Charlton, Hertfordshire, England. As a young child, he was greatly influenced by Anthony Bessemer, his father. Anthony Bessemer exposed young Henry to his workshop at an early age, giving young Henry an advantage in his later life. Henry Bessemer received little formal education during his childhood, but the hours he spent in the workshop and factory also helped him later on in his life. Throughout his life, Henry Bessemer was an abundant inventor. From 1838 to 1883, he had at least 129 inventions to his name. In the 1830s, Bessemer invented perforated dyes for the Inland Revenue, England's taxing authority at the time. These dyes were specially made for the tax stamps so that defrauding the government became impossible. In 1843, Bessemer also made a fortune off of a series of six steam-powered machines for making fine brass powder, which was used as gold paint. Gold paint was scarcely made in Europe at the time and was highly regarded by decorative artists. It was only made in Nuremberg, Germany before Bessemer had come across it. Bessemer also invented a screw extruder for more efficient extracting of sugar from sugar cane. In 1848, Bessemer discovered a method for making a continuous ribbon of plate glass. This helped him gain experience in the design of furnaces, which would be useful for one of his later inventions. In 1854, Bessemer also invented a very accurate spinning mortar shell, but he soon realized that he needed a stronger metal before these would be of any use to armies. Among his many inventions, Bessemer was most known for his discovery of a way to produce cheap steel faster. This method was called the Bessemer process. Bessemer began working on the solution for the lack of cheap steel in 1850. In 1855, he patented his new developed process. This process was carried out in a large steel container called a Bessemer converter and involved using oxygen in the air blown through molten pig iron to burn off impurities and create steel. By 1880, more than 90% of the U.S. used the Bessemer process as their main way of making steel. Because of his successful life as an inventor, Bessemer received many honors and awards. Bessemer was awarded the French Legion of Honor in 1856. He was given the Albert Gold Medal by the Society of the Arts in 1872. In 1879, he was made a Fellow of the Royal Society of London for Improving Natural Knowledge. Bessemer was also knighted on June 26, 1879 for his contribution to science. He later died on March 15, 1898 in London, England. Before the Bessemer process was ever developed, many industries were constrained by the lack of steel. Railway structures would rely heavily on cast iron and wrought iron, leading to many accidents that occurred during that time, such as the Dee Bridge disaster and the Bull Bridge accident. As steel became more readily available, it triggered the growth of other industries as well. Bessemer was the first to discover a way to make steel inexpensively and in large quantities. Because of this discovery, steel was widely substituted for cast iron. Steel was lighter, stronger, and more malleable than iron. The Bessemer process became significant in history because it changed the systems of industry, transportation, and construction. Steel was used in the railroad industry, from the rails on which the rail cars were on to the various parts of the rail cars themselves. The growth of the steel shipbuilding industry was also made possible by steel manufactured through the Bessemer process. While other steel producing technologies were invented after Bessemer's, his process continued to be used until the mid 20th century, advancing society to a more effective way of life. In our world today, it would be unthinkable to be without steel.